Tonight, crowds marched to the state capitol in honor of Zoe Felix. Topeka police arrested a homeless man on Tuesday on suspicion of brutally murdering the five-year-old Topeka girl. 27 News reporter Caroline Soro joins us live from the state house now. Caroline, tell us about the march. Well, a crowd of what looked like well over 100 people gathered for this march today. They started a few blocks over at Evergy Plaza before ending right here at the Capitol building. Some of them had signs, others had on March for Zoe t-shirts, and they're all looking for answers. Frustrations are high after the murder of five-year-old Zoe Felix, leaving many wanting one thing. Justice for Zoe! Justice for Zoe! As a parent myself, I just, I have to have justice for this little girl. They failed her. Everybody failed her, and it wasn't right. I think everybody should be here. I think everybody should be concerned. Justice for Zoe! And many people are. Crowds gathered to March for Zoe, an event organized by Jenner Cochran, who's a Topeka dad. It wasn't just Zoe, but that's why we're here today. I want it to be known it was not just Zoe. This just really hit him hard that to realize that it can happen anywhere and um, to feel like a child is not safe in their community. Those in attendance believe in strength in numbers. They're calling on lawmakers to put an end to violence, especially when it involves children. She kind of slipped through the cracks and this is another child here that has slipped through and we need justice for her. She absolutely needs to be spoken for and we're her voice. It helps for everybody to come out and speak out and say things and stand up for what you believe in. I think when you have this many people together, it, you kind of feel that emotional connection a little bit more and how close people are together. Um, and now we're all pretty similar. We're all living the same life, going through the same things. We're all trying to just get through the day. And speak up for those who can't anymore. No matter what part of the, a town they live in, no matter where they come from, who their parents are, that each life is meaningful. And uh, like my sign says, if, uh, you know, we all matter or none of us do. The man allegedly involved in this crime, 25 year old Michael Cherry, has been charged with capital murder. That means he could face the death penalty if he's found guilty. Working for you live in downtown Topeka, I'm Caroline Soro, 27 News. All right.